Hi everyone, welcome to this vlog. So today we're going to be taking you on a walking tour. It's going to be a food walking tour. We're going with Balkan Bites and they're going to take us around for about two hours and we're going to go to four different restaurants to try some local Bulgarian traditional foods. Yeah, we haven't eaten anything all day so we're pretty hungry. So let's go. It's a cold wintry day in Sofia, but it's not going to stop us from going on the food tour, is it now, Al? Hopefully we can warm up with some tasty Bulgarian food. We have about a 19 minute walk to get to Crystal Park, so that's the start of the tour. So Ali's going to lead the way because I'm terrible with direction. Yeah, Holly was leading the way, but uh, that 19 minute could then become 25. <laughs> We've made it to Crystal Park, which is the meeting point for the start of our Balkan Bites food tour. And we are looking for a giant statue, and I think I see the group up ahead. We made it 15 minutes early. We always arrive early, we're never late for anything. <laughs> Time punctuality, that's our strong suit. I, I don't mind being like right on time. I don't like to be early. <laughs> Even that's late, being right on time for us. <laughs> After meeting the group, we were given an overview of the tour. Family owned restaurants and some like uh, friendly owned restaurants, but no real chains. And the idea is to give you a slice of life in Sofia. You'll see something traditional, something modern, something with a twist, and something that's popular at the moment. So that's why we don't call our tour Bulgarian Bites, but we call it Balkan Bites because our cuisine is regional. Right, we have started our Bulgarian food tour. I believe we're going to go to at least five different restaurants. Which is good because I thought we were only going to four, so we're going to a bonus one. Um, the guys promised us a bunch of different foods and uh, I'm excited. The last food tour we went on, which was in Athens, actually turned out to be pretty good, so I'm excited for this. Wow, I'm glad that you're broadening your horizons and trying different things out. Right. I have to. Can't be sticking to chicken and rice. I'm actually super excited because I love food and I love trying new food, so this is going to be great. This is a holly vlog. It is. We're at our first location and it's called Superstar. It's a soup bar and they have 600 different recipes for soups and our guide was just telling us that each day you have six available to try so we're going to try the taradar which i think is a yogurt based cold summer soup that uh, should be interesting yeah i've that. never had i don't think i've ever had cold soup thank you what is the name of this again Tarator. 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 Sometimes people do videos and then they butcher something and yeah. I'm like, Tarator. 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 Perfect. Tarator. Perfect. <laughs> so this is yogurt soup? <laughs> yeah. Tarator. I'm going to try the soup. I can definitely taste the dill. Yeah. And the cucumbers. Yeah, it's basically like eating um, or drinking cucumber soup. Do you like it? I like it because I like dill and cucumbers and it's light and I like yogurt. So I like all the ingredients. Okay, so Bulgarian yogurt soup. What would you give it out of 10? I really like it. I'm finishing all of it. I didn't throw mine away like you did. So what would you give it out of 10 then? I'm um, an 8. 8? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for me, I like all the ingredients individually. Together, not so much. Give it a 6.8. Superstar? Is that what's called? Yeah. I think we're going to have to go back and try one of the hot soups. What do you say? Yeah, the place itself looked pretty legit. They had like a long line of people queuing outside. So we've got to hit it up. We're at our second stop and it is a wine stop. This is called Garafa Wine Shop and our guide was just explaining to us that they have reusable bottles so you can get a glass bottle, fill it with wine because their wine is on tap and you can go back, reuse it and you don't have to waste. Here's our glass. Give it a smell. Nos trae, 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 nos trae
Holly, last one to leave the wine shop. Ali just made a joke and said I always have a wine bottle on tap. And he's definitely... Not wrong. Definitely wrong. But he always makes fun of me and says that my uh, giant water bottle is a wine flask. But it isn't, it has water. Okay, the third place we're gonna go to is a designer burger place. And I'm very excited. It's called Scapto Burger. And our guide was just explaining that if you like Buddies, beer, and burgers, this is the place for you, so. That's me summed up <laughs> in three words. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Messed it. Hi, Steve. There we go. I feel like this is gonna go everywhere. <laughs> do I have it all over my face? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, it's a really good burger. It's got a familiar seasoning to it. I feel like it's the same way my dad seasoned burgers. <laughs> Tastes the exact same way. Man, that burger is so good. The meat is good, medium rare. You can see how pink it is. Definitely coming back. That's a great burger. <laughs> so back in the communist days, they used to have this chewing gum called Turbo, and along with the burger, you also get that chewing gum. So uh, <laughs> I want to save this for later because we're just gonna head to the next place. But I'm interested to see how this tastes. Oh, I'm not gonna save it. I'm gonna try. But I'm gonna hold on to it for now. It's chewing! It's like waxy. Very waxy. You know what it reminds me of? Juicy fruit when it's running out of flavor. <laughs> We've been to the wine place and the burger place, so wine rating. The wine? Well, I'm not a white wine fan. I want to go back and try the rosé and the red wine. But the rating for the wine? Seven. Seven? I would say I'd give it a 7.8. I really like the wine. And rating for the burger? The burger. 8.2. I'd say 8.5. Oh. That burger was delicious. The only bad thing about it was we only got to have one bite. Um, but I'm definitely going to go back there. Yeah, we got to try the beer there have as well. The gum, on another note, has taken a turn and it's getting way better. <laughs> First it was really waxy and hard to chew, but now I kind of like it. This place is called Sun Moon. And the cool thing about it is it's a vegetarian restaurant. But not only is it a vegetarian restaurant, but actually you don't need to be a vegetarian to enjoy it. Meaning I can walk in there and not think about that it's only vegetarian. All the dishes are quite good. We are going to try some sourdough bread. And I think they have different types of uh, spreads that they put on the bread. It looks cute. Spread is lutanitsa, which means spicy, but it's not spicy. I like it a lot. Okay, so that spread was peppers, garlic, and tomatoes. And it is so good on the bread. And now we're gonna try the hummus. Hummus and bread is always a winning combination. I think they put a bit of paprika or something. Uh, let's see. Not good. The hummus has a slight flavor. Like, um, I think it's paprika. Really good. Really, really good. So it looks like the hummus has paprika and sesame seeds on top. What is that? Anise. I'm not a fan of anise. You can immediately tell, I feel. Immediately, no. Immediately, no. <laughs> So we're gonna try some booza. It looks it, like chocolate milk. It does look like chocolate milk. So it's been described as tasting kind of like if you take Rice Krispies and you mix them together with milk. Sounds appetizing. Yeah, let's try it. It smells like 
Maybe like Rice Krispies, I guess. No, it doesn't taste like Rice Krispies at all. It tastes more like... I'm getting like cinnamon flavors. I don't know, it's a barley drink. You said you can't wait to try new things today. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's an acquired taste. You gotta, you gotta... So, so we're just finishing out with Sun Moon. Let's get racings in. So we tried two different types of toppings. First I, topping. I really liked the uh, red one, the pepper one. Um, I would rate that like maybe an 8.1. The hummus one goes lower. For me, a six, because I just don't like anise, and I think that that's what it was flavored with. So it wasn't that it, it didn't taste good, it's just I don't like that flavor. Fair enough. Uh, to be fair, same rating, uh, high eight for the first pepper topping. The hummus, I didn't mind it. I give it a 7.5, it was, it was legit. Right, we're here. We're gonna try the mikitsa, which is effectively fried dough. Yeah, so it's a traditional Bulgarian breakfast. And here, they put powdered sugar on it. You can put it with jam or, he said, cheese. So we're gonna try the Balkan Bite inspired small bites. So Ali just said, this reminds him of beignets. It does, it smells like beignets. It's fried dough with powdered sugar. So yeah, same thing. But it's uh, in Bulgarian, mikitsa. He's right. For me, it tastes like a beignet. They're very good. I like that they're bite-sized too. All in one? Oh wow. That was really good. Now you can wash it down with the barley drink. Mmm. Don't forget about it. So you man's are just supposed to have it with this. Let's see if this improves. Ruins it. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wish I hadn't had that. Ruined the beignet taste. <laughs> but the... Mikita, mm -hmm. man, gorgeous. All right, we are now heading to our sixth place. So, what was the rating for uh, Mikita? The rating for Mikita, I'd give it. It was fried bread, so I'd give it a 8.3. 8.7 for me. Mm. We are at our next location. Haji, Haji, Dragonovite, Izbi. So all together, Haji, Dragonovite, Izbi. Ready and. It'd be easy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, close enough for a couple of people. <laughs> this place is awesome. It's like a mini museum of traditional Bulgarian life. What a traditional uh, restaurant uh, is like. It's probably the best, uh, one of the best traditional restaurants in the downtown center. Things happen with uh, bad wine, and sometimes it's good with how's that cheese? It's good, it was a light flavor, like feta. Like feta. <laughs> right. This is the Lutanitsa. We have this uh, early at the other place, Sun and the Moon. This one's a lot creamier. This is the homemade pie, I think. 14%. It's very sweet. Mm. Very sweet wine. It's good. Which loose do you think is better? I'll, I'll see. <laughs> <laughs> First one. That's interesting. I prefer the second one. The second one's like um, spaghetti sauce. Yeah, it's a lot creamier and a lot smoother. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So one. this one has eggplant, <laughs> garlic, and what's the other one? Tomato? There's what is many cool? variations. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's um, very garlicky. Why? Okay. Mm. Yeah, there is a, a, another version, like I said. <laughs> but There's I don't know if they call it flavors uh, and it's slightly different recipe. Very eggplanty and garlicky. It's good. It's the same. Our Balkan Bites food tour has come to an end and I'm sad because I was having such a good time. I highly recommend anytime you go to any city, go on a walking tour, go on a food tour. They give you such a good overview of the food, the city, the culture, and it's fun because you get to meet other travelers. Yeah, the guide 
he was really knowledgeable, a really cool guy. And before going to a restaurant, he told us a little bit about the history of the food, how it's influenced the culture, and the foods that we tried. Personally speaking, I would never try it, like the cold yogurt, but I'm really glad that I did try it. I do like the red sauce, I've forgotten the name of it. Overall, it was really good. Thank you for watching this video. We have videos coming out twice a week. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and get your one-way ticket with us. It is supposed to snow tomorrow. I was checking the weather app, so I'm real excited about that. Ali hasn't seen snow yet in Sofia, so uh, I keep telling him every day it's supposed to snow and it never does. <laughs> and now, because she's just said it, she's jinxed it, so it's not going <laughs> to snow.